Alright, this is a battery powered bubble machine and for any of you with kids or nephews and nieces, this is a huge hit at any party or picnic. This allows you to basically make tons of bubbles and just walk, just step back and watch the kids just go crazy. Now this one has is interesting because it has a remote control switch which I'm not exactly sure why you would need that, but in any case, we're gonna give this a try out. What? Let's see what's inside. Oh, it comes with its own concentrated bubble mix here. Four packs, actually. And, huh, also a secondary manual bubble bottle, so you can you know, I guess give this to a child so that they can make their own bubbles, but most of the time I'm, they just love these bubble machines by themselves. And, hmm, well, like many devices, it looks, it appears that this requires, yes, uh, at least some, some device requires that you have a screwdriver to open it up to put batteries in. And I always hated this about a lot of kids devices. I don't know where, I haven't found any actual law or rule about uh, them re being required to have a, um, a screw, but because th that, that law in the U.S. only applies to button batteries, not just, not regular, in this case, double A size batteries, but maybe there's some sort of weird EU rule or something. Or maybe a rule in China for all I know. Um, if you happen to know, please leave me a comment, but uh, you would put your um, batteries in there, and we'll put that in a, in a bit, and be able to turn on, on and off the device. Oh, and there's even more packs, so that is, oh, and more packs. Okay, so we have a total of eight packs of bubble gel. We have a charging cable, a USB charging cable to, um, I never know what the, how, how big these are, like one and a half millimeter, or maybe they're four millimeter. And we have the device itself, pretty compact. It has a rechargeable battery. Oh, well, maybe not. I think you have to put rechargeable batteries in there. Because I was wondering, it felt surprisingly light. And that's because you do need one, two, three, four double A batteries in here. But oddly enough, if you put rechargeable batteries, it would seem you would be able to charge them from the side. So that's just something to be to note. And there's an on and off button here. So you you load it by pouring uh, your solution into this. So you load it by pouring your solution into this reservoir down the bottom here. And as uh, and when you activate it, this turns, rotates, dips into your solution, and comes back out. And on the on the top here, there's a blower. You can see the fan in the back here. It blows air through the device, through this angled buffle, buffer, buffle, baffles, through this angled baffle, and blows air through that slit into your these little. Um, bubble rings, I don't know what the term for these are, but, uh, and then it blows bubbles, tons and tons of bubbles. So let's go outside and see how well it actually works. All right, we've got some batteries in here and we've got this all set up to test out, minus the actual bubble solution fluid, which we'll do next. But the way it works is you put, after you put your batteries in here, you can turn it on using just this button at the back. You just press it. And funny enough, it does have some LED lights. And you press it once and you've got the blinking lights. You press it twice and it actually starts. You can hear it. You can feel the air blowing through. And it's got two speeds, high speed and previous low speed. And then back to blinking lights. And you can turn it off by just keeping the power button depressed. But it also comes with this remote control that um, kind of looks like uh, the 1970s or 1980s version of a bomb device with the blinking lights and being all black and a big red button just seems like a, um, 
some bad 70s A-Team villain prop here. Anyway, let's see how this works. Pressing it, and doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know what this is for. And there's no instructions in here and in the box to say what exactly this thing does, but maybe you have to have this on. There we go. That's that's what it was. You actually have to have the unit physically on here for this remote to work. And it won't work unless you actually flip the switch to be on. So this is a really kludgy clunky way to actually control this device. I'm not even sure why you would need to to be able to remotely control this unless you're doing something, I don't know, on stage, uh, some sort of performance where you needed to be on the other side of the stage or out in the audience to be able to turn this on. Not sure. Anyway, if you happen to know why you would need a remote control for a bubble machine, uh, you leave me a comment, let me know. But let's see, if you plug this in, it turns off the device because it was blinking before. And it just makes me wonder, could you run it directly off? Could you run it directly off of the power switch? Let's open this up. And take out. Yes, you could. So I've taken out all the batteries here. And as you can see here, it still, it still works. So this may or may not be able to recharge these. I'm thinking maybe it won't be able to actually recharge it inside of uh, the device, but this is meant to be a wired, um, wall-powered power cable here. So if you want to run it uh, from an extension cord to a um, USB wall adapter, you could do it that way if you want, or you can run it off of AA batteries. So there you go. All right, so as I said, let's uh, load this up now that we know how this thing is powered and works. And we'll take it outdoors and test it out. All right, we're gonna test it out here with uh, some bubble solution that I picked up from a 99 cent store, or you could use the concentrated solution they gave you, just dilute it with water. Or you could just use bubble bath or dishwashing detergent. Just pour it in and immediately you're gonna get tons of bubbles. So there you go. If you're interested in picking up this uh, bubble machine, I'll include links in the video description and you could always find uh, links in my written article on my blog at moondogindustries.com. And before you jump off to that next video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It's absolutely free and it helps this channel grow, but more importantly, it helps you because you're telling the algorithm what kind of content you actually enjoy watching instead of it suggesting content like the hottest new K-pop video because that's what everybody else is watching. So tell it what you really want to watch so you'll see less of this and more of this. Thanks again for watching. Have fun out there. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.